Tiwi people believe there are spirits of the dead known as Mopaditi, who can threaten and harm the living if they're not shown respect. When somebody dies, burial poles are made as memorials and to please the Mopaditi. A Pukamani ceremony is held to mark the passage of the dead person into the spirit world. Unique to the Tiwi people of Melville and Bathurst Islands, the Pukamani ceremony is the occasion for a complete affirmation of Tiwi life and culture. At the Snake Bay settlement on Melville Island, it is now the custom to erect burial poles near the house where the dead person lived. Today, about 1,500 Tiwi people live in four European-administered communities on Melville and Bathurst Islands, which lie close together in the Timor Sea, about 100 kilometres north of Darwin. Being a geographically isolated community, the Tiwi were almost, if not totally, cut off from mainland tribes and other cultural influences. Although they forcibly resisted the first attempts by white men to settle on their islands, they have since adapted to the presence of Europeans. Yet, for many Tiwi, Christian funerals have failed to ensure the ritual journey of the dead to the spirit world, and have also failed to provide the emotional release of the Pukamani ceremony. When somebody dies, the home is cleared until after the Pukamani rites. In one of these new houses lived a young man who was killed by his wife. He was a member of the Mangatopi family, who owned the land at Snake Bay. The tragedy of his death and the status of his family demand a special Pukamani ceremony, which the dead man's father, Geoffrey Mangatopi, decided to organise in the old way. Four months have gone by since the young man's death. During this time, Geoffrey Mangatopi and the other close relatives must remain in a state of Pukamani. The word Pukamani, roughly translated, means taboo. Pukamani people cannot touch food and must be fed by others until the rituals end. These restrictions on behaviour are intended to control the approach of supernatural forces, which are considered sacred and dangerous. Mission acceptance of Tiwi rituals has come too late, and with the demands of work obligations, the observance of ritual life is more and more difficult. This Pukamani may be the last ceremony to be held in the traditional manner. Close relatives are forbidden to go near the burial site for fear they may be attacked by the spirit of the dead, the Mopaditi. So Geoffrey Mangatopi has chosen some distant relatives to be workers, who will carry out the preparations for the rituals. These workers are putting the finishing touches to the burial site at Carslake Beach, 20 kilometres from Snake Bay. Geoffrey selected two groups of workers, one group from the country of the dead man, Snake Bay, the other from the country of the dead man's mother, Garden Point. Their most important task is the carving and painting of the burial poles. Tiwi designs are traditionally abstract. Some of the designs painted on these poles symbolise the crocodile, the main dreaming or clan ancestor of the Mangatopi family. After spending several days preparing the grave, the workers visit Geoffrey Mangatopi to tell him they have finished. The Pukamani relatives feel the workers may have been contaminated by the spirits of the dead, so both groups engage in a ceremonial fight to drive the Mopaditi away.
A number of preliminary rituals are performed at the dance ground outside Jeffrey's house before the final Pukamani rites begin. Tiwi rituals clarify and legitimize relationships within the tribe. The laws are passed on and the social order is maintained so that death is an occasion for regeneration. Each kin group has a separate dance. The brothers and sisters have their own dances, so do the in-laws. These dances have been going on for many days. Marceline Mangatopi has just flown in from Darwin to take part in the ceremony. Mark Mangatopi is the brother of the dead man. He was so upset by his brother's death that he had to be heavily sedated. <laughs> Following the death and burial, until the close of the final ceremony many months later, there is a period of mourning when all close kin remain painted with red ochre. This is not only for decorative purposes, but also to conceal their identity so that the Mopaditi will not recognize them. For the spirits of the dead are lonely people, always on the lookout to steal the spirit of some living person as a companion.
symbolic protection for the mourners. The dancers burn the hair from their legs so that the spirits of the dead will not recognize them. tribes participate in all aspects of ceremonial life. They were initiated side by side with the men and still take an active role in all phases of the Pukamani ceremony. The grave site is now ready for the final Pukamani rites. All available vehicles have been commandeered to transport the Snake Bay people to the grave site at Carslake Beach, 20 kilometers from the settlement. There, they will join other mourners from Garden Point and Bathurst Island. <laughs>
Since the burial, the gravesite has been pukamani or taboo to all close relatives of the dead man. To make it safe to enter, a series of rituals are performed along the way.
Little bamboo, little bamboo. Is that a bucket of a penny? Hey! Get around, move down there, guys. Yeah, I do. Yeah, we don't bend that little bit of the ground and then there are more. We need a car for you. We are the one. It's the other one. We are buying the rest of the rubber. We're doing it. All right. We're going to go. We're going to go. We're going to go. We're going to go. Over $1,000 has been collected from relatives to pay the workers. <laughs> Mark, Geoffrey Mangatopi's oldest son, divides up the money. Kinship, the way people are related to each other, provides the framework and basis for Tiwi ceremonial activities. Painting up expresses the dignity of the occasion. Not only must close kin take precautions against the Mopaditi, but now, because of the proximity of the dead man's spirit and his still intense loneliness, everybody must disguise themselves before they approach the grave. <laughs> Thank 
marks the end of the Pokemon ceremony. The final rites have been concluded, and the new Muppetiti can now join his ancestors. Go 
Yeah, I'm a 